What's up, y'all? It is Jordan here. Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am a MBA dancer, also a full-time political strategist and a grad student. So we do a lot of things over here. We have a lot of fun. So be sure to subscribe so you can be up to date on what all is happening. But this week is a really exciting week because it's game week, of course, but not just any game. It is is opening night so today is monday i actually just pulled up at the stadium i'm about to head into practice and then we just have a bunch of things happening this week from practices to photo shoots to appearances and then of course we're ending the week off with the game so i'm excited to bring you along with me hey y'all so i've been home from practice for a little bit and i took a shower and Fix some dinner, just some rice and shrimp. That's what's on the menu tonight. I also ordered a couple things off Amazon, a rug for my living room. Um, I got a new tripod for my iPhone so I can use when um, we go to Arizona in a couple weeks and then also just for like filming TikToks and stuff. But the most important and the one I'm gonna be using soon is i got a waxing kit thing um so yeah that's gonna be coming in the mail i am going to be waxing my underarms i saw i follow monet mcmichael i believe is her last name on tiktok she does it all the time and i decided you know what i am going to start waxing my own armpits myself too because that's like saving like 30 extra bucks when I go get a wax. So I'm going to be doing that um, in a couple days when that comes in the mail. And I'll let you guys know when that happens. But yeah, for the rest of the night, I'm just going to chill. It is Tuesday, October 18th, 17th. I don't know. Um... Tuesday, October 18th. First of all, look how mean cute. Look how cute me and Grant are. Like, I love my screensaver. But yeah, it's Tuesday, October 18th. I have been up for like two hours working. Now I'm about to start getting ready for my appearance. We have to be there at 12. So I'm going to try to leave here around... 11 30 which gives me about an hour to get all glammed up and dressed and all that stuff so yeah that's what we're about to do right now okay y'all hair is done makeup is done minus lashes and lips so i'm going to go ahead and get dressed it is 11 12 so we need to hurry it up okay y'all um so i had to hurry up and get out the door because it is 11 43 right now good thing i live like a mile and a half away from the place so i'll be there on time um, but yes, I'm all done. Got my warm up on, hair, makeup, lashes, lip gloss, all that In stuff done. Of a month. GPS. Um, but why did I get like a rapid response social media request from work like 10 minutes from when I was about to leave out of the house? And so now I'm dealing with that. And so I was able to like get it drafted and get it sent over to them for approval. But they haven't approved it yet. So I'm like, okay, you said you want this done ASAP. Take so you said you wanted this done ASAP. So I'm going to need approval ASAP because I'm not going to be able to be on my phone in the next like 20 minutes. So I better get approval from them soon. Because, yeah, y'all wanted it quick. I got it to you quick. So let's go. Okay, y'all. Um, got here. I've been sitting in the parking lot for like five minutes. It's 12.03 and we're just waiting on our captain to get here. But it looks like we finally got the tweet up that needed to be up. And they were like rushing. They were like, we need this up like in the next two minutes. Da 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 da. 
Yes. This is what the day looks like being a multifaceted multitasker. This is this is what that is like. Um Yeah. But also the privileges of getting to work from home. So, you know, can't complain. Okay, y'all. We just got done with our appearance. Super quick, super fun. And I just changed clothes in my car. I just put on some jeans in this rocket t-shirt and some tennis shoes. And I'm going to put on our rocket letterman jacket. And go back in and grab something to eat. I also brought my laptop, so I'm going to be getting work done as well. I just got back in my car. Um, it's 2, 2.26. Um, and like as soon as I was walking to my car, I realized that I forgot to take any footage inside and on the rooftop but I did take a boomerang so I'll insert the boomerang here but it's literally beautiful up there I'm definitely gonna come back for a photo shoot so I'll probably vlog that um if not on YouTube definitely over on TikTok so shameless plug go follow my TikTok it's linked down below okay y'all I am about to call it a night I did some laundry, took a bath, um, and now I'm about to eat a bowl of ice cream and go to bed. Tomorrow is a pretty long day. I have work. Then I have uh, to go to the stadium a little bit early for a photo shoot and then practice after the photo shoot. So it's going to be another long day, but um, week is almost halfway over. So, and the bridge of that just means we are a day closer to game day. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get some sleep. Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday. It's almost 11.30 and I've been up working. Right now I'm making me some breakfast. So just whipping up some eggs. I had one slice of bacon left, so there's that. I'm warming up some rice I had for dinner a couple days ago and then making some toast in the oven. So yeah, um, I've just been working this morning. I don't have any meetings or anything today, so it should be a chill day. Um, I have to be at the stadium at 5, so I'll probably start getting ready around 3.30 so then I can leave here around 4.30. And that's what my day is looking like right now. Here is my finished breakfast. Got two slices of toast with grape jelly, a slice of bacon, some rice, and some scrambled eggs. Now, now I'm going to sit in bed and eat it. Hey y'all, so I am ready and I am currently heading to the stadium. Um, I didn't film myself getting ready because I was low-key rushing. Um, yeah. Uh, but I just have on a Clutch City t-shirt, some jeans, and then a pair of Jordan 1s. Um, yeah, it's 4.30. have to be there at 5. I live like two miles away from the stadium, but the Astros are playing at home today, and their stadium is also downtown, so... I don't think the traffic will be bad this early, but you just never know with Houston. But yeah, I should definitely be there well before five. At least, fingers crossed that I am. Okay, so traffic was pretty bad. Um, things were backed up like past the interstate, but I am off of the highway now. I'm downtown. Um, and like down here, traffic is usually always like pretty good. It's just a bunch of lights, but it's five, it's 4:45 right now, and I'm about to park and pull up. So, um, made it in plenty of time. 
Um, yeah, so, do I look good? I hope I look good. We have practice right after this, FYI, so I have like all my stuff packed for practice in my bag as well. Practice starts at 6, so I don't know how long this is actually going to take, but hopefully it's enough time for me to get it changed and all of that. But yeah, I'm pulling up at the Toyota Center now, so I'm going to park and I will check in with you all after practice. Hey y'all! So I just got home from practice and everything went great. The um, like little video shoot thing went great. Practice went great. We got to see like all the lights and stuff that's going to be happening um, and like the, the smoke and it was just really awesome. Opening night's going to be so much fun. Um, I have an Amazon package here that I'm going to open. It's just a couple of things, but one thing I think it's it's going to be super fun, but also maybe not so much fun that I'm going to use tonight and that you have to go over to my TikTok to see it in use. So the first thing I got, oopsie, I got a new phone tripod because the one that I have is just old, it's breaking, it used to be like a selfie stick and then like it's just really um, falling apart. So I got this one instead and this one, I, ugh, this, this, this is kind of big. I am definitely going to have to still hold on to that other one because this one is pretty big. Let me let me go grab my other one really quick. Okay, so this is the one that I've been using and I like it because it, it folds up like pretty compact. Like it fits in even like my small Telfar bags. And then it folds up like this and then you can put your phone in it like that. These legs come out like that. And then this part lifts up. But the thing about this, like boom, this has been like coming apart recently and so you just have to like really delicately lift like expand the arms up but i still really like it because it's really portable and this other one this is the size comparison <laughs> um so it's like half the size literally and it comes out like this. Like this is like a full tripod thing. Like a full on. Like I can sit this on the ground. Which this is helpful because when I use this to film TikToks and stuff like that, I have to sit it on a surface for it to be like eye level. So this is good because I can literally just whip this out for a TikTok or something and not to have it don't i don't have to sit it on anything and then of course it comes with the phone thingy and then yeah a little thing where you can put other thing and it actually comes with a remote so that's cool but yeah i'm still probably going to take this around with me specific places like when I have, am only carrying a small bag, I'll bring this. Um, but I'm really glad I got this specifically. Grant and I are going to the Grand Canyon. We're going to Arizona in like a week and a half. And so, I mean, I could have made do with this, like sitting it on something, like a rock or something, us taking pictures, but this will come in a lot more handy because like we're gonna be carrying like backpacks and stuff like that. So this will easily fit in a backpack. But then maybe like when we go out to dinner or something a little bit more small and I bring a small purse, then I have this. So these two together are gonna be very, very beneficial. And the next thing is what we're going to be testing out tonight on my TikTok, a waxing kit. Yep, you heard that right, folks. I am going to attempt to wax my underarms. Um, 
yeah, I got this because I usually get wax in Austin. Um, I haven't found a waxer here in Houston yet. And we have opening night in two days. And like, my armpits kind of need to be waxed. So I was like, you know what? What a more perfect time to just try this thing out. It was already like in my Amazon wish list. So I was like, let's add this thing to cart and buy it. <sighs> Update on the armpit waxing. It was painful. I still have hair under my arms, but we have to stop. Cause this armpit started getting welts and I've actually like made some progress with this one, but it's getting too tender, so we're gonna have to try again, either tomorrow or in a couple days. I'm still gonna upload the video though. I was FaceTiming Grant for some moral support and he helped count me down, but was also laughing at me. And now I'm eating some leftover pizza and I have a cookie baking in the oven. And I also cracked open some wine because my arms hurt now. Good morning, y'all. It is 9.30 a.m. on Thursday, October 20th. And I am making a quick breakfast taco run because I've been craving breakfast tacos for the longest. So I'm gonna actually like, well, I am up and I'm going to go get some. Ugh. have no idea where I'm going to get them yet, but we're about to figure that out together. And I've, I've been forgetting that it's like cold now. Because all summer I've just, you know, I've been getting up and going, down on some shorts in my t-shirt, but it's cold and I can't do that anymore. It's 65 degrees and I get cold easy. So I need to put on some clothes, but this is how we rock it for right now. Let's figure out where we're getting some breakfast tacos from. Okay, I just decided to go to the nearest place and it's called Taco Deli. So hopefully this doesn't suck. It's 0.4 miles away, but I guess this will have to be a, a new thing with me finding my breakfast taco place here because I have my breakfast taco place back at home in Austin and I even have like a backup to the breakfast taco place and then I have a backup for the backup. It's so like the main breakfast taco place is this place called Serena's that I've been going to since high school. Like it's a little family owned shop. Um, they know me by name. They always give me free things when I'm there and like those breakfast tacos are so good. And then second is this like little Mexican restaurant that's across the street from there. And they're pretty good too. And then when I don't feel like driving to either one of those places, I go to Torchy's, which I haven't seen. I know they have Torchy's here, but I don't know. I haven't passed by one or seen one. So like that could possibly be an option, but I don't know how far a Torchy's would be. But for now, we're going to this place called Taco Deli. Just got back to my place with the goods. And now I'm going to sit in bed and stuff my face. And I'll catch up with you guys and gals later. So I am done with my meetings for the day. I'm bringing my laptop with me just in case any chaos arises but I'm about to go get my nails done um it's three o'clock right now like I said practice is at 6 30 so I think that gives me plenty of time I would like to be back home no later than 5 30 so that's like at the very latest like with me just running in changing grabbing my bag and going um, cause I like to leave around 5.45. There is an Astros game today, so downtown will be pretty crazy like it was yesterday. So, yeah. Okay, I'm back home. Um, it's 5.35, so I'm about to leave soon for practice. 
here are my nails. Grant, I sent Grant a couple options, and this is the option that he picked. Super cute, super simple. Um, yeah. I got a Gel X manicure, which um, it's my first time getting this, so we'll see how long this lasts. It was um, $90, which is crazy, but it's because $5 to remove my acrylics, and then $15, I never get why they charge extra for French tip, but it was $15 for French tip, so I guess like if I were to just get a polish or something like that, it'll be cheaper. But they're cute. The guy said that they're supposed to last a really long time. Um, so my nails, my acrylic nails already last me a month um, before I go get them redone. And like even my nails that I just had on, I've had those for mm, a little less than a month. Um, but they weren't like hurting or like falling off or anything like that. They were grown out a little bit. Um, and I just didn't like them anymore and they were like really long because they were starting to grow out and I didn't like the length that they were. Um, so acrylics already last me a while. That's the point of this. So these should last me even longer. I'm hoping they last like a good six weeks. That's, that will be worth it for me in my head. So yeah. About to head to practice. Um, and yeah, I'll check in with y'all afterwards hopefully this traffic isn't super bad i think i may go the back way so i can avoid the highway today good morning y'all it's game day i don't know if i actually came on here last night and finished off yesterday's portion of the vlog but it's officially game day right now it's 11 41 i've been up since like eight um been working for the last few hours winding down on work and i just took my hair down because i put my hair in um twists to do kind of like a little twist out and so i just took that out and i'm only going to do my hair before i go to the stadium because we're gonna we do our makeup and stuff there so i'm not even gonna worry about that but I'm going to try to mostly do my hair before I go and so um like I said I'm gonna do like some braids my hair really needs to be washed like it's so dirty but I'm, we have a game on Monday so I'm gonna wash it after that because then we have like over a week until our next game and so I'm gonna let my hair take a break and breathe during that time but yeah I'm just gonna do three little braids I had it like this last week in last weekend for my cousin's wedding and today we're dancing to a Nicki Minaj song and it's very like hip-hoppy and like super cute so decided to you know switch things up and do a little braid in my hair. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, y'all, I am all packed up. Um, it's 2.50, so I'm about to leave. We have to be there at 3.30. Uh, I'm getting gas before because I'm on E. In the morning, I'm waking up bright and early, like five, six o'clock in the morning, and driving home to Austin, so I wanna get that all taken care of. I will check in with you all after the game. Bye for now. The game is over. I'm back and guess who's with me? No, long time no see. Um, but yeah, the game went well. Our performances went well. I got a lot of like extra cam time. I was up in the DJ booth. I was throwing t-shirts, it was fun. We ended up losing, but you know, you win some, you lose some. But that is it for this week's vlog, y'all. This has been a game week in my life. Super busy. I will check y'all out in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all social media, which is linked down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.